everybody Brian here and we are digging it in Florida back here at this local park that I am now going to refer to as the bank <laughs> reason being this place just uh, keeps on giving and giving I keep you know there's a lot of clad but uh, did find uh, mercury dime down here uh, Found a real fluke find, which is in one of my videos, uh, 1883 V-nickel and some kind of aluminum coin. You can check that out in, uh, I believe it's episode 4. But we're going to hit this hard today with the AT Pro. And uh, hopefully we get some good digs. And we will keep you updated. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to start off in this... Uh, hot lot. It's about uh, 54 degrees right now here in Florida. It's supposed to go up to 75 degrees today so it should be beautiful and I'm gonna hit this before the little kitties come and start playing. It's always a good place to start uh, looking for you know loose change, jewelry, whatever we can find. Let's get busy. Got something shiny here. Not sure what it is. A little buckle or something. We'll check it out. All right, we're gonna go over here and got a few nickels and or a nickel and some pennies and dimes over in here in the playground. So we're gonna hit the swing set and then we're going to go out in the open field where I've been finding a lot of a lot of coinage lately so let's go on over this way do what we can get alright getting a <clears throat> signal in the 80's here And it's a penny. Oh, got another one over here. time it's a dime. I'll show you the clad collection later. It sure is growing. That's why I call this place the bank. After all that work, let's see what our reward is here. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Nineteen seventy something quarter. Whew. Well, got to dig them, man. That was. I don't mind the clad. Boy, that was a lot of work. I'm just going to check that hole, make sure that was it. What I like about this uh, this area in this tree right here, I, I frequent this spot. I get a lot of clad in here, mainly because this is a. Uh, over there's the playground and a lot of parents will lay out blankets and stuff and they kind of hang out in this area right here just lay down and so it's a good place to always go over and try to find some you know clad and jewelry and occasionally you know you always find a spot that you miss you might get a high ping and dig deep and get something worthwhile this is a tree the kids just love to climb it's an old uh, I think this is an Australian pine but I'll keep plugging along here, but keep you updated. 
All right, getting an 82 about four inches down right here. Penny dime, I'm guessing. Oh, get a root there. And it's a dime. Like I said, this place is like, uh, I'll rename this the bank. that great so it's kind of shiny we'll look at it when we get home see if it's anything good I doubt it we're getting a signal it's kind of chirpy all the way across but a high signal I'm looking here make sure the pinpoint is working I kind of spot this on the surface right here it's the quarter but I I think there's more here because I, I was getting like a beep 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 like three signals so we're gonna see if we can locate anything else in here so we hunted that one section of the park got a bunch of clad I'll show that to you later going to hit this little tot lot here usually pick up some change in here and then uh, hit that open field out there that's where I got that mercury dime and those two fluke coins from episode four so we'll hit it i'll try to keep the camera running as much as i can this is a you know a little cheap geek pro not the gopro and the battery doesn't last very long so i want to try to get in as much digging as i can so wish me luck and here we go Just a penny. Found the uh, quarters, dimes, nickels, a lot of clad. I'll show that all to you later. <clears throat> like I said, I'm not sure how much longer my camera's gonna last, so I'll try to get in as much as we can. Alright, got a uh, 85. 89 good signal deep too about eight inches Let's see if we can find it. Hopefully we get it before this battery dies on this camera I tell you, That's a lot of digging for a For a modern day quarter, but like I said you see my clad collection at home Saving up for that Nell storm We'll take it. Got a bunch of it today. I'll show you here after a while. Yeah, these are just old roots. They ain't got no business being out here. We're getting close. I sure hope it's worth it. <laughs> it's way down there below these, I mean, between these roots, which is always good. You gotta be shitting me. Excuse my French. You know, I don't know. That could be a, that could be a penny. I'm pretty sure. It could be a wheat. 
I don't have any anything with me to clean it off so we'll have to check that out when we get back to the house boy that sucker was down there too man alright getting a signal here about 80 82 about six inches down in top there. I don't know if the camera's still running or not, but let's get it out of there. There it is. Just a penny. Hey, if that was up north, that'd be right on the surface down here. Florida. Look at that. Jeez. It's the sand and the mud it just swallows everything down here. Good practice for digging deep signals though. Definitely good practice. Uh, 81 signal. I assume it's a dime or a penny I hope. In my hand somewhere. Something is anyway. There it is right there. See that in the clump? It's a dime. Nineteen eighty-five, I think. Oh, I took a quick break, went to the house, grabbed some lunch, uh, went back to the park and it was packed. So I come back to this old school. Uh, been here for a lot of years it's a uh, kind of abandoned don't get used no more I mentioned it in my very first video put a lot of clad at this little median area here so uh, I've gotten a little bit more experience with the AT Pro since then so I'm gonna hit this again and see what I might have missed so stay tuned let's see all right so we're getting a, about an 87 signal here listening for those high tones that I really wasn't listening for before when I first started doing this that's in there whatever it is I don't know if you guys can see it right here look at that Seventy. We're getting closer. Well, that's wild. Cause I thought I really hunted this place, and after watching a lot of videos and really learning how to listen for signals, it's getting a lot better. A lot better. On to the next one. See if we can find some more. Look at that, something right there. Right next to it. Deep too. It's bringing in 85, 89. All right, about eight inches down. Great. Right next to it. I think I might have missed it.
sounds like it's down there. It's weak. One thing I got to get used to is <clears throat> finding the target when it's when the ground's kind of you can't you might not be able to see it but it's sloped. Look at that right there. That is great. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 19. Hmm. What is that? Yeah, I think it's 1967. And sure. We'll, uh, we'll look at it. It's not silver. <clears throat> Incredible. Right next to the other one. Two quarters. And I thought I hunted this place good. Just goes to show where we all learn on a daily basis what to listen for. I got a lot of really good advice from uh, Kurt with the Hoover Boys. Um, he had a really good video. And that's what really made me start listening. So thank you, Kurt. See if we can find some more. I ain't believing it. There's something right there. Right, right next to it. Damn, about eight inches down. Right next to it. Somebody must have dropped their pocket change right in this one spot, like a spill or something. Right there. See what it is. That's 60 cents just in this one area. Can't believe that. We're going to check this before I even put this back in the ground. Hmm. All right. Well, that was a nice little spill there. 60 cents. No freaking way. Right there, guys, about 10 inches. Man. All right, it's only about maybe six inches down. Incredible. And I was over this spot, too. I guess we're learning all every day. Huh. 
There it is right there, whatever it is. Another quarter. Holy mackerel. And looking at the back of it, it's uh, a lib uh, one of those Liberty quarters or whatever, 1776 to 1976. Wow. Huh. Oh, happy days. <laughs> Just check it again. That was it. <clears throat> On to the next one. Alright, gotta apologize for the wind here, guys, but this is another one of those real faint signals that I never used to listen for before, and it's down in here. We're gonna go in and check it out. A penny, and I can tell by the, I think by the back, it's a. Let me check it out. Yeah, modern day. But, well, that's cool because that's something I uh, I had missed before. So <clears throat> I think every time we go metal detecting, we get we learn a little bit every time we go. Start to learn the sound of your machine and what to listen for and pays off. On to the next one. What I'm doing now that I wasn't doing before is keeping it real close to the ground and listening for these little little faint high tones and then try to focus in on them. And even the mid tones if it's if as long as it's deep and faint. See something deep there. About eight inches. Let's check it out. Hmm. Right in the top there. <clears throat> What the heck is it? Oh, that was a quarter. Coming in like one, but that's a that's a washer. Hmm. Freaked me out. All right. Can't all be money, I reckon. Tally who? And here's the wrap up everybody and I'm talking what a day. I had a blast today. I really really did. We've got uh, I think uh, what do we got? We got almost nine dollars in clad today. I mean I was listening for signals and digging my butt off let me tell you. And a uh, bunch of stuff over here too which I'll get to here in a minute but uh, let me show you the the clad. We got uh, all these quarters, uh, nickels, these are all dimes, and a bunch of pennies. All right, and then these are, you know, just, uh, I threw away all the trash, and this is just the, you know, the little stuff that I, I just kept to show you. It's like a little part of a car, a uh, piece of a, let me see if we pick this up for you, just a, it's an old fishing lure, uh, a shell casing it looks like, I don't know why that would be at the park. This here I really thought was silver but it's not, it's a made in China part of a belt buckle. This uh, I don't think is silver, I'm going to test it but I don't think it is, it, there's no markings. Uh, we've got the uh, breast cancer awareness pin, this is some kind of valve like tire valve or something 
I'm not sure if it's old or not, probably not. And this half moon looking thing, which I'm not real sure what it is. It's you can see it's got some kind of little like it was a cover to something. And let's see if we can zoom in here. This uh Albuquerque pin, this um, big brass thing, and some little shiny stuff. Um little part half to a gun, a little toy gun. Okay. And believe it or not, because I didn't think so, but it is that little tiny shiny. I don't know if we can even zoom in on it and see here. We can get in there. That little thing right there. I scratch tested that on my uh, thing and because it weighed quite a bit for a little tiny thing and it's uh, 14 karat gold. And I was actually... Uh, found it in a hole where there was uh, I forget a penny or something it was down in there with it uh, this little thing it's not a real diamond or nothing just junk jewelry um, little, I'm not sure if that's a washer or what it is and in my dimes I was surprised uh, I got a, a silver one here it's like uh, 1952 let's take it out of the dark area move it over here here we go you can zoom in. I thought it was uh, clad. It's not. I'll clean that up. It's a 1952. So that was a surprise. But uh, had a fantastic day today. I mean, just fantastic. Got a lot of trash too. I always, you know, just take out the stuff that interests me. I throw the trash away and then uh, put this all together for you guys to look at. Once again, I hope you uh, enjoyed this week's video. And I really, really enjoy making them. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And God bless.